everyone. Today's video I'll be showing you how I did my abstract gold foiled design that I have on this week's manicure. It's pretty simple to do. The technique um, typically uses a gel paint which is a very very thick gel product with um, uh, which is a highly pigmented product as well. I didn't have any gel paints so I tried to think of what among my gel polish stash that I have would work and I thought of my shellac uh, black pool. This is about a two-year-old bottle and for this purpose um, it actually worked quite well because it had thickened quite a bit in the bottle. Um, so it was able to hold those lines pretty crisply uh, the the traced out designs pretty pretty nice they didn't uh, tend to level out or anything and after you would draw out your lines you would come after it's cured you would come in with the uh, nail art transfer foil you can find these pretty much everywhere nowadays uh, I got my little jar here uh, dozens and dozens of them through dollarnailart.com this is, of course, their gold color. Uh, for this, I have cut out separate uh, pieces, one for each nail. Uh, the reason for that is uh, when I was doing these, when, this hand, I found that if I used one piece too much uh, because some of that sticky layer was transferring from the black lines onto the back of this, it would transfer into the white part on my other nails, and I didn't want that, so I just did one little strip per nail. And uh, also for this, I used my um, Indigo Illumination Gels. These are color-changing pigment polishes, and very, very cool polishes here. This is number one. This is a kind of rose and gold uh, pigment change. I have number two, which is a magenta purple and blue color shift. This is number five. Uh, this is a teal and purple color shift. This is one of my favorite uh, color. In fact, it is my favorite, number five is. And this is number seven. This is a, um, a copper and gold color shift. So those are what I used in, uh, some, you know, just scattered throughout the areas on the nail. I'm also using a very fine uh, detail brush. Um, this is the size. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I think it was on sale for 50% off, so I think I got it for like two bucks. So again, very, very fine. I've already placed some uh, shellac on black pool on the tile here, and our base is two coats cured of um, IBD whipped cream that I have removed the sticky layer from. And we'll go ahead and get started. Now I am, I'm gonna zoom first of all, and I am painting with my non-dominant hands, so this might be a little tricky for me on camera. Uh, you want to pick up a little bit of your black and you'll just trace out your lines where you would like them. And there is no right or wrong here since this is an abstract uh, design. It is whatever you want it to be. You can do thick and thin lines to add more interest. Again, uh, your only limitation is your imagination.
All right, once you get your design the way you like it, you would go ahead and cure this in a UV lamp for two minutes. Um, and then we'll come back and do the foil. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that, and I will be right back. All right, our black has cured in the UV lamp, and now we're ready to apply our foil. So again, I've cut out a strip for this purpose. Uh, you've got two sides on this, shiny and matte. You want it to apply the matte down onto the black. You don't want to press hard. You just want to kind of lightly press it into the sticky layer. And there you have your foiled design. So you can leave it like this, or you can add whatever embellishments that you would like to this. Like I said, I decided, decided to use my um, illumination gels. I don't get to use them very often um, because they are UV cured. Our, I tend to stay away from polishes that are UV only cured. And you'll see what I mean where um, some of the foil transfers um, into the white parts, like in that area right there. If that happens, um, just take a little bit of alcohol and a small detail brush. Got my little detail brush here. I'm going to spray it with a little alcohol. I'm going to blot it and then I'm going to come in and wipe away the excess gold. All right, now we're ready to add in our illumination gels. I'm going to use the same detail brush that I did. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with the black a little bit. And we're just going to take a little bit off the brush. You can do this as thinly or as thickly as you want, however you want it to look raised or not raised. It's certainly up to you. I do kind of want mine to have a raised appearance, so just place it right in the middle of your foiled area. Try not to go into the foil. And then we'll do our next color. is our purple and teal shift. All right, now that you've got your colors where you'd like them, you would go ahead and cure that in the UV lamp for two minutes, which is what I'll do, and I'll be right back. All right, so our illumination gels have cured, and now we're ready for the top coat. I'm going to make sure that foil is completely covered. It does have a tendency to wear off, so make sure that you do get it completely 
coated. All right, now you'll cure that in the LED lamp for 30 seconds, and we'll be right back. All right, so our top coat has cured. Now we're ready to remove the sticky layer. And there you are, your abstract gold, gold foiled design. So you can see it's really not that difficult. Uh, to me the most difficult part is really just deciding on what type of design that you would like to do. Um, you can vary it up on each nail to give it more interest. And I hope you have found the video helpful. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down at the bottom for me. You can also visit me at my blog. And as always, I do appreciate your support. And until next time, I will see you later.